Okie dokes, guys, welcome back. We are going to be jumping in to game number two here between Never Say GG and Ace of Bly, and it's going to be on WCS Cloud Kingdom LE for our game number two. And Todd, it looked like in game number one, Bly just kind of had Never Say GG's number. I <laughs> don't really know what else to say about it. Wait a minute, he's playing Protoss. Is that? That can't be right. Yeah, it is. I uh, saw them briefly chatting. Uh, one of Never Say GG's friend, or I don't know if it was his friend, but somebody asked him in French if he was going to play Protoss, and Never Say GG said yes, so I guess he's going to play Protoss. Uh, really? Yeah, maybe it's his secondary games. race or something. Maybe. Maybe. Are you allowed to change race? <laughs> okay, this is interesting. I think yes. I don't believe there's anything in the rules that says about it, actually. Um, let me quickly dive into the rule setup because that is very very interesting if it is or isn't tournament rules format and map pool hmm okay i need to edit the scoreboard briefly okay but if it is allowed i'm sure you're quite happy that we have a process <laughs> hmm and i think the side has crashed <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no! Oh well. So, do I have the brackets for the Iron Squid Qualifier? We do have the brackets, but they were broken for a second, so... Okay, so, yes, Bly says they are allowed to change. So all is good in the world. Uh, I believe the brackets, guys, might still be a little bit forked. So, apologies for that if you're trying to access them. Um, and if not, please someone post the link in the chat. That would be very, very helpful indeed. So, spawn gun bottom left-hand corner, we have React Never Say GG spawning as our blue Protoss. And up to the top right-hand corner, we have Mr. Ace Bly, the winner of our previous game, going to be spawning as our Red Zerg. Now, Never Say GG, um, changing race to Protoss, halfway through the series. And he's oh. not making a pile on it, his expansion. Ooh. Gate opener, maybe? That Maybe, maybe. There are some one base forge openers that you can, well, the forge in base that you can do against Zerg. Is that correct? Yes. But do you mm. think this will be one of them? I do not. No, <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, it would, I think it might be a little bit difficult for him to make work. So, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. Never say GG here. I, again, I must admit, I haven't seen his Protoss. So, he is going to go for the gateway, as you rightly predicted. And Bly here against Protoss, again, he does have some funky builds, um, but he can just still play to the normal standards of ZV, uh, CVP. And, I mean, where does Never Say GG go from here? Does he go for just a one-gate expand, or does he continue like this one-gate aggression? We can't tell just yet, right? No, I think this would be a one-gate expand, probably with the yeah. Wallet's expansion, but maybe he has some kind of cheese prepared. Hmm. <laughs> but he's scouting after his gate now, and I think uh, Bly is going to be kind of surprised by this. This is not the usual timing. If he realizes that uh, Never Say GG didn't open Forge, then Bly is just going to take gas and make a quick link speed to be able to defend against, uh, for example, a 4 gate or something. Yeah. Uh, Bly did a very nice little trick there of getting the drone down to the natural without his opponent seeing it. He kind of moved it out of the path of the probe, so he hit it. So that's a nice little move there. He cancels any kind of delay that would occur at that natural. And for now, I mean, ooh, second gas. Does he have two guys? No, he has the three guys in gas, so... Hmm. And he's saving Chrono Boost. No, yeah, maybe... Okay, actually, <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as you say that, he uses one. Yeah. It wouldn't have okay. made sense if he took a second gas like this and then he tried to do some aggression like a four gate. So I think mm -hmm. this should be a zealot into probably a sentry and then uh, maybe a nexus and uh, he's gonna wall with more gates yeah and there's and a sentry on the way as i thought blight just took a quick gas realizing there was no forge expansion and he's gonna be getting that quick speed Bly actually he likes to do a lot of cheeses against protoss like for example yeah. a spine rush sometimes niduses that I makes it that much yeah. harder to play against him because you never know what to expect yeah yeah and that's something that uh, TLO has actually been reaping the rewards of from what I saw in the uh, tournament that he was playing yesterday so it, it's really difficult to go up against Zerg players just in general that you don't 
really have a full idea that they're just going to play a standard game if they're going for something crazy. Again, Bly, during the Ukraine Nationals against Protoss, went for a proxy hatch in someone's base on Ohana, where admittedly there's a little bit of room to be able to get away with that if your opponent isn't actually scouting out avidly. So Bly has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Uh, and going up against Never Say GG here, who's going for a pretty standard build to a certain degree, um, but... How is the, how is this going to be successful here with a few lings on the way? You think he's going to be able to hold this quite easily, or? Uh, it depends if he walls now. Like if he lets the lings in and Blaya speed, it's going to be very hard for Never Say GG to hold. Mm. Oh, but the lings now are making their way. Oh, he's going to be able to wall, I think. Yep, he is indeed. He forces a force field out of him, so that's quite a nice little, uh, pick up there for. Uh, Bly, but you know, the Zergling is just going to go to the work on the rocks, opening up a little bit of a quicker attack path if he wants to eventually take those down. It's very, very minor, of course, but every little counts in this game. Uh, and now, I mean, Bly knows exactly what's going on right now, doesn't he? he? He sees the sentries at the front, he knows for the most part where his opponent's gas is invested, but then again, you know, never say GG, he still has 300 gas that he could actually do something with here. And I think we might have some kind of a push from never say GG. Because he's making five gates right now, so he's going to be making a couple sentries, zealots. And when he reaches a certain amount of sentries, I think he's just going to move out and try to put pressure on. And Bly yeah. right now, he's droned a lot. He's at 44 drones against 31 probes. Uh, he's making a third base. And uh, he didn't make a roach warren. He seems to kind of want to skip roach. Roaches for now, he's making 16 zerglings right now. He knows he has already a whole couple of drones to saturate both of his two bases. Uh, even though he's making a third right now, he doesn't need to get the drones that much in advance and he wants to be safe. Because he doesn't know what's inside the base yep. of Never Say GG. Actually, he's sending Overlord now. Ah, okay. Very, very nice. Um, now, he does see the Twilight Council going down. Uh, Never Say GG actually dropped that in vision of the yeah. o o Overlord. Um, I have seen some uh, five gate builds by uh, Millennium Adele Scott, actually, to be specific. Yes. Um, in terms of putting on a lot of pressure, and he's a really, really high proprietor of that. You can put pressure on with the five gates, but you end up with a lot of minerals banked up at the very at the back of it. Now, where if if do you do you feel that this is going to do some damage here for Never Say GG, or do you feel that Aces Bly is prepared for this kind of eventuality? Uh, I think Bly is very good against this kind of style, and he might make a hydralis. Then I wouldn't be surprised if he does that, and he just gets a whole couple of hydralis, and they are so good against just gate units if there is no blink stalker yeah so we'll see right now he's making a lot of links and some spines he did cancel his th his third base yep oh so and never say go. gg is gonna be on the way never say gg is gonna be moving back and uh, all, plus one almost finished for Bly on his melee Interestingly enough, uh, Never Say GG actually cancelled the twilight council that he was throwing down so he was trying to throw his opponent off somehow um, with that uh, and again, with the Hydralis then on the way that you predicted once again, I mean, Bly here with a lot of spines, I think he sh It depends on the force fields, right? If, if Never Say GG is able to get some good ones down, separate a lot of the units off, then he could be in an okay spot with this aggression. And actually, look at this. Very cute move here. He's making a spine crawler up the cliff with... He's dropping some creep ah. with the Overlord. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that's necessary, he already has a lot, but he seems very worried by this army, he thinks that's an all-in, and it kind of, oh yeah, actually it is, because there is no gases at the expo of Never Say GG. He seems to really want to commit to this attack, so those spines actually going to do a great job. Yeah, that's going to be very, very helpful indeed. Without the robo, he doesn't have any high ground vision. I guess technically, you know, some, it, with since he's so far away from a robo, some kind of hallucination would have been... Kind of good, but here we go. Zealot's actually going to get really good surface area on these lings. Bly just piling them forwards against it. Oh, but Never Say GG does not have plus one weapons. So that is making it really, really hard, a lot harder to rip through those Zergling numbers. Hydralis is doing a pretty good job, but there's so many Hydras and Spines coming out right now. This is going to be, I feel, difficult for Never Say GG. A yeah, pretty nice force field. Uh, he still had a little bit of energy. If he had micro better, he could have maybe made sure he'd win that game, but now... This is looking very bad because Black can just reinforce with a lot of Zerglings and never say GG lose everything and he actually says GG. Bless his little heart with the GG. So ladies and gentlemen, Ace of Bly advances on pretty furiously there in the first round. And uh, <laughs> I mean, poor never say GG. He didn't, in the first game he was a bit brutalized and in the second game switching the races up a little bit, giving us a bit of a show, but was brutalized in turn again. So... 
one episode GG crashes out and Blight will advance on.